do my hair? I'm gonna do the sort of loose waves thing. It already is pretty much how I like to wear it, but I figured I'd do just a quick little video on um, how I go about getting the messy curl. My hair is naturally curly, as you can see here. So what I do is I start out by just blow drying my hair of straight-ish condition. I use a round brush to straighten the front and then the ends and then I just kind of let the natural curl give me body in here so I can get that really body bodacious look. If you have straight hair, I would recommend, you want to start out with a lot of body. So I would recommend using, they have that stuff called like surf spray or something that has, it's basically like seawater in a spray form and it has salt in it and the salt helps kind of like thicken your hair and almost make it a little bit dirtier which will give it that body so I would recommend spraying that on your hair before you blow dry and using maybe like some volumizer in the roots I mean you really just want to get like big hair. Another very important thing I use is Moroccan oil. My hair is curly and dry and a little bit frizzy so I put this on um, pretty much all over before I use any kind of heat. Here is the most important thing to the loose curl look. It looks like a police baton. <laughs> um, this is my newest favorite guy. It's a curling iron that doesn't have the little thing on it, the little whatever you call it, clamp thing. You can use the curling irons with the clamp for this kind of look, but you will get sometimes a little kink because I'm wrapping the hair around the curling iron as opposed to using the clamp. So, up to you. So anyways, this is the tool and watch me use it. I'm already pretty much there. I'm gonna just define a few more hairs. But if I were to start out with my hair like semi-straight after a blow dry, I usually separate it into like three different sections using my handy dandy little clip who's missing teeth. Oh, he's gotta go to the dentist. And then I take, really it's super laid back, like you just take chunks of hair around an inch, two inches, whatever you're feeling, nothing really too mathematical, and then wrap it around. Careful of your fingers, careful of your face, this is hot. And I usually hold the ends away. I like having a little bit of some straight ends. And then, let go. And there's the curl. They always come out at first a little bit too perfect, but we'll deal with that later. I like to point the curling iron down and wrap away from my face, because that way the curls are all going in the same direction. You can change direction once in a while for like even more of a messy look. Sometimes if you have straight hair and your hair doesn't hold curl very well, mine does, but I would then, before you take your clip out, I would spray each layer with a little fine mist of hairspray to just lock in that curl and kind of make it even dirtier. <laughs> So, hairspray, just sealing in the curl. And then on to the top layer. Around your face, I would pick like bigger chunks so you just really get that sort of loose wave and start the curl down more a little bit and then loosely let it go and then we'll kind of separate it with your fingers, you get that really sort of beachy. It's so beachy. Oh my God, did you just get back from the beach? So if you're done and your hair like kind of looks too much like this, like beauty queen perfect ringlets, make sure it's sprayed so that the curl's locked in, but just run your fingers through it and then take, you can either take your round brush or I have this little guy 
it's a natural bristle brush. And then go around and like pick your hair up in certain spots and tease underneath. Teasing is a girl's best friend. At the crown of your head, give it a little tease. That's where you really get that kind of 60s Brigitte Bardot, Brigitte Bardot look, teased up. I always go in and kind of really sort of do a little curly cue action around on your roots. Like you're basically doing to your hair what you would do at night on the pillow. Oh. I'd spray after you tease it if you want to. Tease it underneath, give it a little spray, and then you lay it down. So you tease underneath, so on top it's smooth, but underneath, a little mousey could make a home in your head. Know that as the day goes on, the curl will relax. It'll kind of like get even messier. You know, you can sometimes even just kind of go back comb with your hand, just up on the curl. Like, you're basically giving yourself dreadlocks. that messy kind of loose curl thing. Oh, oh. Where's my bikini? <laughs>